I'm so sorry, ma'am. I know you need this medicine, but it looks like it's not covered by your insurance. Yeah, unfortunately, I had to deny that one. Wait, who are you? I'm your insurance company's pharmacy benefit manager. I get paid based on the price of a medicine, and I don't make as much money off this one. No one should stand between you and your medicine. Visit phrma.org slash middleman to learn more. Paid for by Pharma. If you've been struggling to fall asleep or stay asleep, try listening to a guided meditation tonight on the Sleep Meditation for Women podcast. Meditations are a natural, easy way to quiet your mind and relax your body so you can get the sleep you need. Every night, Sleep Meditation for Women provides a new episode from body relaxations to guided visualizations and even dedicated sleep sounds. Listen for free now by searching Sleep Meditation for Women on your favorite podcast player and begin sleeping better tonight. This is Optimal Startup Daily, episode 1016, How to Complete Your Projects, by Carl Stabe of digtofly.com. And I'm your narrator, Dan, and I am here reading to you every day from the very best blogs covering entrepreneurship. And with that, let's get right to it and start optimizing your life. How to Complete Your Projects by Carl Stabe of digtofly.com One of my weaknesses is putting the finishing touches on a project. I can develop, design, write, and create, but can't put the fancy on a project, that extra touch to make it shine. I hired an editor to help me with the Unlock Your Superpowers manifesto. It's coming out very soon. I'm great with ideas and concepts, but not very good with finishing the product. I get bored and want to move on. So I make less money in the short run, but in the long run, it's paying off. She helps me clean up, polish, and put the bow on my projects. Her superpowers complement mine, and it's worth every dollar. The next step was to find a great designer. Once again, I have superpowers in structure and layout, but not so much with colors and images. I hired a local designer to help me create something beautiful, something so special that people couldn't help but want to share it with their friends. This was only possible by understanding my superpowers, but also my project kryptonite. You have superpowers that aren't being used very well because you don't have the right people around you. You need superheroes in your back pocket. Follow these steps to build your network so you can make growing your career easier and more fun. 1. Unlock your own superpowers. A deep understanding of your own superpowers is a must before you begin reaching out to find other people to help you. When you understand what you do well, it makes it easier to exchange superpowers. The key is to have a mix of passion, focus, and strengths throughout your daily actions. Two, learn your project kryptonite. Every large project has certain tasks within it that weaken you. These are your project kryptonites. You can usually spot a project kryptonite by how hard you try to avoid doing the task. For example, I do not like editing. It's hard enough to write something unique and interesting. I struggle with going back over posts and finding missing connection gaps and grammar errors. This is where you need to leverage other people's superpowers. You need to give these tasks to other people who enjoy the work and do a better job than you. What tasks do you find yourself avoiding? Three, ask people in your network for help. The key is not to directly ask them for help unless you are really good friends. It can put both of you in an awkward position. I suggest just asking them if they know anyone who can help you with your project. Then they can volunteer themselves if they want to or offer up someone that might be able to help you. You'll probably be pleasantly surprised by the quality of referrals that you will get from friends and family. No one wants to be the person who recommended a dud to you. You can ask people directly or post on one of your social media accounts. I see this happen a lot on Facebook, especially for car mechanics. Four, know the value you will give in return. If people help you with a certain part of your project, then the next part is understanding how you'll reward them in return. Do you pay them? Do you thank them, depending on your relationship with them? Or do you offer to help them with a project? There should be some kind of reciprocity that takes place. When someone holds the door open for you, you smile and or thank them. People want to know you appreciate their hard work. The more time and energy they give you, the more important it is to show them your gratitude. And five, set up a trial period with your potential superhero. Not everyone you think is amazing is a good complement to your skills. It's best to test out the idea of working with them. When you ask them for help, 
make sure they understand that you are just working on a trial period. I tested out a few editors before I found one that I clicked with. The other editors were very good, just not a good fit for me. You might want to try 30 to 90 days. Whatever the trial period is, make sure you have enough data to understand if they are a good fit for you or not. Try giving them different types of projects that challenge their superpowers in different ways. You'll see whether they are a good fit for you or not very quickly. Superheroes are everywhere. Friends, family, and coworkers can all be very helpful if you give them a chance to help you. Don't be afraid to be clear about your expectations for a project. As long as everyone understands the goals, it makes for a much easier time working together. Just ask for help and remember to reward them so they understand how appreciative you are. If you plan on making money from the project, I would suggest paying the person. If it's a hobby project, a small gift or heartfelt thank you can go a long way. You just listened to the post titled How to Complete Your Projects by Carl Stabe of digtofly.com. I'm so sorry, ma'am. I know you need this medicine, but it looks like it's not covered by your insurance. Yeah, unfortunately, I had to deny that one. Wait, who are you? I'm your insurance company's pharmacy benefit manager. I get paid based on the price of a medicine, and I don't make as much money off this one. No one should stand between you and your medicine. Visit phrma.org slash middleman to learn more. Paid for by Pharma. If you run a successful business and you're looking to automate your workflow, Listen up, because NetSuite by Oracle has just rolled out the best offer we've ever seen. NetSuite gives your business everything you need to reduce manual processes, boost efficiency, and increase productivity across every department. So I just love that you're not only getting visibility and control, but also the power that comes with having all of your information in one place. And for the first time in NetSuite's 22 years as the number one cloud financial system, you can defer payments of a full NetSuite implementation for six months. That's no payment and no interest for six months. It's time to join the more than 36,000 companies that have already upgraded to NetSuite. If you've been sizing NetSuite up to make the switch, then you know this deal is unprecedented. No interest, no payments. Take advantage of this special financing offer at netsuite.com slash startup. netsuite.com slash startup to get the visibility and control you need to weather any storm. netsuite.com slash startup. And thank you to Carl, who helps entrepreneurs understand their struggles and then turn them into stepping stones. In 2010, he was diagnosed with testicular cancer and was then laid off from his job a short time later. And while those were difficult situations, he calls them blessings in disguise. Since then, he's stopped doing work that doesn't fit with his passions and instead now focuses on things he truly cares about. Carl is the author of the book Bring Gratitude and has a lot to offer on his site, which again is digtofly.com, and I have it linked in this episode's description for you. By the way, dig to fly means dig deep to fly high. And Carl also has a podcast of his own, which you can find wherever you get your audio. It's called the Dig to Fly Podcast. But that does it for me here today on Optimal Startup Daily. I hope you enjoyed today's post from Carl, and I'll see you back here tomorrow where your optimal life awaits.